Welcome back everyone to Let's Play War on the Sea, episode number 67, U.S. Campaign. I was looking at the submarine on the splash screen when I was coming back, coming back into the game today, and it made me really excited to start a new campaign on this. So I think that that's what we, you know, I'm just going to mention it because it's obligatory at this point to mention. We do want us to bring this series to a close and start a new one. There will be necessarily a break between the two. Otherwise, I'll just burn out. We don't want that. Let's go a little bit further, and that should be... I mean, they're in good proximity here. So let's go ahead and take you to the tactical screen. Let's go crazy and do some skip bombing. Can I do it? I think so. Are they close by? There they are. Ooh, look at that. On a line. So we can't get, we, I mean, we're not gonna, ooh, look at this. Nothing but merchants. I mean, nothing but uh, merchants, and what I mean by that is no tankers. Which is not surprising. Some pretty weak destroyers as escorts. Oh, oh there's one reasonable destroyer. So skip bombing or level bombing, I mean, once they start going in circles, it's going to be a lot more difficult. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to just assign a target to each one. There's... Uh, and just let them, let them do their thing. So let's first do this. Let's navigate over in this direction. And then I, I think I might end up doing that. Just have them... So there are the ships. Now, it's not like these 17s are small. They're probably pretty noticeable. Should we start identifying these ships? I don't think I'm going to go for either the first or the second destroyer. Which are actually worth less points than the other ones. <laughs> the merchant ships. Although they have infinite merchant ships, but sinking destroyers does matter. So let's just go ahead and do this. All right, let's start looking at Japanese destroyers. Nikazi, check. Next, looks like a Momi. Probably is. Check. Next, and they're already starting invasive maneuvers. So, um, looks like our the element of surprise has has left us. Unless they're just doing course correction. But I doubt it. Okay, so let's just, let's go in. Let me lower altitude. I wonder, can you get them to do skip bombing for you? Let me have group two, or group one do this, the uh, skip bombing, and group one, or two, sorry. We'll do the level bombing. So let me go ahead and identify you, and then Um, we'll start commencing the level bombing first. Okay, Shiratsuyu. And the rest of the group should be pretty easy to identify. It'd be also nice if you if these identifications stuck. Like if I bomb them again, would I? You know, would my identifications to stick? I don't think so. so. Let's have you go after. Oh, I guess we gotta do it this way. Let's have you go after number nine. You go after number eight. I don't know if this is the best way of doing it. We're gonna do it this way though. Yeah, which one did you go after? So you go after number six. And then the skip bombers. Which I guess we should just have them start turning this way as they lower their altitude. Or 
Where's the other group? Should be somewhere near us. There they are. Go ahead and keep turning. Oh yeah, there they are. And maybe I'll commandeer one of these and try my own hand at skip bombing. It's kind of fun to do. Skip bombing, man, you really can't do skip bombing with anything but uh, merchant ships, though. So this is kind of backwards. We're going to have to switch some things up. Five. Who's in the rear here? I'm going to have you not target eight, but instead target number three, four. Okay. Seven is doing that, and who's else in the back? Eight, this should be. No, this is five. Five. Maybe I'll have you go after the Shiratsuyu as well. Yeah, I'm going to put two of them against the Shiratsuyu, which is yeah, more of a threat in some ways. Maybe I should link them, but I don't know. That's fine. Okay, so now we can do this. The skip bombers can go after five. So who did six have? So number six and number eight. Oh, we got a whole bunch of them going after that shirt to you. You are and you are going after number nine. So seven and nine, so we need eight, ten, six, six, eight, ten, and then the evens. There we go, keep it nice and simple. Six. Once I get below, yeah, that's probably about when, yeah, that's good. So let me do this from the back order though, six. is mine to control. Looks like the flak, thankfully, is being focused on the other ships. We're going to get right on down to it. Yeah, I guess this, the lower you are, the higher the bomb is going to skip. Be a little bit nervous. 100 feet, maybe. Alright. Tracer Fire is coming in now. We'll just skip bomb down the length of the ships. Nice. This ought to be fun. I want to pull the trigger right there, but not yet. Hold. Firing at me? They didn't hit me. Oh. No! No! All my work. You guys just gotta pull the trigger. Being shredded. Well, this was an extremely effective attack, was it not? Leave it to Tortuga to try to get it done. But that's fine, these are all gonna go get replenished, doesn't matter. I don't think we hit anybody, I don't think anybody is hurt. It was a miserable start to this, but... That's okay. If it were a situation I was like a little more concerned about, then we probably would have approached from the side angle and, you know, taken it more seriously. That was still fun. So what did we learn from it? Well, B-17s don't skip bomb into destroyers very well. Yeah, I'm not, I just, I have a sense that those B-17s were shot down a little too quickly. And I, as I'm saying that, I also have the feeling I had this same thought earlier in the campaign. B-17s seem to be shot down pretty quickly. But in our case, it doesn't matter. It's just a way for us to speed up 
and we know where they were, more or less. We can continue on our intercept course. Put a few, a, a few float planes out there and catch them. That's the idea. Sydney is ready to launch. So and that's the, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so. Now, what I was supposed to do, oh, I don't remember. Probably I was supposed to destroy all the troops on Florida Island as well. We are expecting 6617 for the um, Guadalcanal to fall. I didn't adjust this. So, we lost 40 troops. Basically just got to speed up. This might even be the last episode. We've got another convoy coming in. They're really stacking up. This one has all the goods and stuff. Yes, we want that one to wait outside as well. <laughs> just so we can... Uh... We do want all the supplies available as soon as we do conquer it, which I guess will happen tomorrow. So that's another day that's gone by where... So we only lost 40 troops. But if we lost 40 troops, wouldn't they have lost... They had 70, so they had to have lost less than 40 on average. 35 and 35. Less than 35 and less than 35. I mean, less than 70 in two ticks. So it had to be less than 35 on average. And we lost 40. 39. So, a little surprising. It means that, hey, the land combat in this is just extremely slow. In fact, we have enough time, probably, to go land. Well, what are we doing with these, anyway? Let's just go do it. Um, at this point, do we even care about escorts? I don't think so. Let's just get a whole bunch of these. There, there's all our command points. Maybe I just it's hard for me not to at least add one destroyer. Okay, and swap with that. There we go. Two points shy of getting any more, but let's just say done. And call this uh, Operation Freedom. Things are getting a little goofy, but I, I mean, I don't want to stop taking this game seriously. It's just, <laughs> it's hard to take too seriously. One, two, three. So we can do three troops and then we can do supplies on the rest. That'll be enough to get things turned around. I don't know how many troops they had, but they had what? six transports so this eight transports and one of our destroyers carrying troops as well we should have more than enough to combat whatever troops they have there let's find out so you now have a mission could have sent you a long time ago but that's fine 20 hours yeah this will actually see the effect of this uh, probably before this episode ends especially because we were able to crank along at a pretty good pace now Especially because I just don't care about anything. We have, you know, it's like a, it's like a fly trap here. Four destroyers. One more was just wandering around. We don't care. We should, but we don't. Oh wait, are you there to conquer something? You are. Perfect. Okay, do this. Now it's my colors. Good. You can run on over here, so where everyone else is. All right, we we now have all that, so we just need to make sure Santa Cruz doesn't fall. We need to take uh, Guadalcanal, and then I have to probably snap my fingers behind the scenes and create a situation where Florida Islands falls right away, by probably putting like one troop on the island or something. Yep, just wait. Okay, five o'clock's gonna roll around, and we're not gonna do anything. I guess what we should do 
is at least launch some aircraft so that we know where the heck oops yeah where the heck our uh, the opposition is here oh well you won't get that far but that's fine something like that and so you're gonna go this and that and this might have somebody who takes off and goes here right away. Here, and then starts doing the same kind of pattern. Okay, and then I know that we have, well, we'll just advance a little bit of time to give me the access back. Somebody else. have them go this way yeah they won't get all the way back there but that's fine that's good enough Canberra is ready to launch aircraft well you don't have any aircraft to launch so it's gonna move point I don't know where they are actually oh what's this Eight destroyers, my goodness. Just keep in that way. I guess I probably need to set up the automatic uh, launching of aircraft in all directions. I think they might have actually gone further. Well, that's the best we can do, so something like that. Nor this. You guys have some scouts available. I'm not mistaken. So let's launch somebody over here. Like so. See what we can find. Uh, get you to launch as well. Just launching out and back, I think. Okay, here we go. all these I mean maybe they went further north probably okay launch aircraft let's try this then instead Something like that it's almost noon six six one seven I think it is gonna be noon when this happens oh Enemy troops defeating Guadalcanal. We've done it! Okay, now quickly we have to race in here. Grab troops for everyone. <laughs> Alright. You have no troops loaded, so... Are you close enough? You might already be close enough. Yeah. Okay, so take troops. One, two, three, four, five. Two troops and three supply. That should be good, yeah. So troop, 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 supply, 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 and make your way to help out Florida. What is XYZ doing? They have nothing, so why don't we send them back down here? Well, let, let them wait in the holding pattern. It's going on over, it's a mess. Lots of supply can be moved around, and we have a lot of supply. So I think that this group might be the group that takes a lot of supply off of Guadalcanal. Not for Florida Islands, but for Russell. Wait, no, I guess we need it here. And you need to move in and drop all your garbage off. Because we want to start building it up. It's airbase, right? We have to build up the airbase. Yeah, we just need engineering and all that. So, when this guy gets close enough, they are close enough. Okay, very good. So, we have troops already on here as well. They can stay, but fuel gets dropped. Engineering gets dropped. Good. 
Oh, I only have 100 of each. Okay, so this is like the the other one, but that's fine. This is still enough. Woohoo! Okay, so airfield is upgraded to rank zero. I think they mean airfield level one or something, but so we have a lot of troops and supplies on here. I guess these guys actually, so you have troops, troops, supplies, troops, supplies, supplies. This is probably the perfect one. Either, how are we doing here? I mean, we're crushing it here. So I'm gonna send this one back home. Um, not back home, but to Santa Cruz. Very cool that, I mean, if I was taking this more seriously, I would have done that already. Or, I mean, if I was paying this, paying more attention, like really, like, let me just in my own defense for a moment say that I'm a person who's willing to spend like 30 minutes deploying individual recon aircraft. So when the chips are on the table, I'm willing to spend time to look through all my different chips, figure out optimal strategy, and when I let myself be immersed in like the admirals, like the, the seconds are ticking by and it's okay because one minute of delayed action about whether or not this transport goes east or west, not that big of a, not that big of a deal, actually. I mean, the movements on this, of this is on the scale of days, so you you know one minute. But still, I mean, to have some kind of notion of time pressure, which in my case is mostly me not wanting to play this game for too much time, I have a finite amount of time I can dedicate to playing the game, so I have to make a decision at some point. Are you the one, by the way, who has it? Yeah, you look at this one. This is the one with it, all the stuff. So we'll get you in. Uh, okay, just keep moving. But in, that, in those situations, it is kind of fun to sit down, pretend to be Admiral, and be like, okay, let's see what all, let me get a, a measure of the situation. What all do I have? I don't know, this, this uh, enemy fleet has evaded me. Oh, never mind. Just, just as I was about to say. So they are, they are hauling, though. This might be something worth picking off. I think it will be. So, I mean, I could spend my effort doing many things, but I think this will be one that will be worth my time. Okay, so you have nothing. You have nothing. You have nothing. Oh, you're just here to load then, I think. You're going to resupply. Okay, and then this, this is the one I want. Okay, so you're the one I need you to move close. You're just here to pick up stuff, I guess. Bottle Canal has 3,000 troops that we don't need that many. It has 15,000 supplies, we also don't need that many. You have come over here with some troops. Yeah. Let's manage the cargo here. Drop off the troops. More troops. More troops. Supplies, supplies, and supplies. It's a very good number. I think that we're yeah, I think 7,000 to, and, and I mean, 7,000 and over 15,000 supplies. It's basically, we don't need any more troops on Florida Islands. We can consider this a, a huge victory. I mean, honestly, what I would want to do is probably just send some of these people home. Maybe I should even pull destroyers off of the escort duty, just to send destroyers places that they're more useful, but it's not what a real admiral would do they would always leave just you know in case just in case so let's do that just in case type mentality leave the destroyers with the merchants and something like this which I don't actually plan to move over here but that's a nice line and you get that nice line for longer if you do it over here versus over here so anyway we'll send those back home basically um, you're moving in, and you are just standing off, not sure what you're going to do. Probably we'll pull more people from Guadalcanal and... Oh, Shortland Islands. So for a Shortland Islands type thing, I do need this kind of group. My order did not take anyway. Huh? Oh, it did. Yeah, okay, we do have a lot of... So... This is tricky, though. I... I have to say, I'm going to change this order up a little bit. We're going to merge some stuff. Can I merge? Yeah. So, Hull is going to get merged in with Rabbit. Convoy XYZ is going to get merged in with Rabbit. And what I mean by merged is that 
pull is going to redeploy over to X-Ray. And X-Ray is going to lead the invasion of the Shortland Islands. Now, unfortunately, to do that, we're going to have to get through this. I don't think this is even possible, but we'll try to go around. It's bizarre. We're going to try it, though. Okay, so let's just continue. I mean, look, things have gone well. Oh, my gosh. Oh, things have gone well. Oh, Lord, I didn't hit tactical. I didn't want to do that. base even there? Doesn't matter. Okay, what I wanted to do was rearm. All ships rearm, so now make your way out. Okay, next. I got someone else, rearm them. Course, make your way out. Ah, we got them all. Awesome. Okay, good. So in about nine hours, we'll have to pay attention to those people again. Why was I going over to them though? There was somebody, something else I wanted to do. We'll just think as time is progressing here. Oh, I was thinking about this short bombardment that we did, and maybe we can do another one against Cape Hopkins. Cape Hopkins. If, like, if we're gonna run the campaign at pretty high speed, then those are things that are well within our means. Let me make sure that we're um, spotting, continuing to spot. Oops, not you. Somebody's gotta have a full plane. Good right through it. Yeah, we're going to continue to spot these guys. See where they are. Just that course slightly. We're kind of going up a little bit more. They should be slow on the tactical map. Got them. So, let's, let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun here. Let's launch. Dauntlesses. And punch through. Oh, nice. Hornets raid launch. Okay, well, we can probably launch just another bunch of... Oh, probably in this case we do the rockets? Torpedoes! What the heck? We can do torpedoes. So in this case, what I want to do is have the Dauntlesses take out the destroyers. Oh man, the merchants. I forgot. The merchants have as much AA as anything else. I don't... It doesn't even matter. Um, there is an encounter for Jig. Where's Jig go to? Oh. Okay, that's cool. This is unexpected, but I suspect that it is... The transport fleet. Wait, that can't be. I will let them fire at will, because I have no bloody idea. Oh, you know what this could be? Um, we haven't seen a submarine in a long time. Look at that water. That water is dark blue. It is deep water here. So just as a precaution, we will break up the fleet. Do some preemptive dodging, just in case. And when it looks clear, hopefully it looks clear, it will return. But I think we got a submarine. So you can just actually turn right back left. The water at Sea State 2, so we actually know exactly where they are. This is funny. Yep, our old friend reports torpedoes in the water. That's pretty cool. Things have changed a bit. All right, now we'll see the spread before we tell you when you have to, to... how much are they banking? Oh man. 
We might have hoserooed our poor destroyer here. Steady up. Steady up. Steady up. Steady up. You just navigate this way. Now, Cummings, I think you'll be okay. Gotta go, oh man, dude, we don't really have that. It's not gonna be that hard to find her. <laughs> what the heck, I gave you, oh my gosh, if we lose this destroyer because of the stupid, uh, stupid gooey interface. Why is she not turning, oh my god. You deserve to die. It went under her. Amazing. Well, that was just some comical stuff. I have no idea. What, is it because they're auto-avoiding hazards, maybe? I don't know. But anyways, we know where the submarine is. Let's just go get him. Okay, Hobart. Can you speed up? Everyone else is out of the way, and you're just dilly-daddling here. Oh man, this is a mess. So don't evade hazards. Are these guys not listening to my orders? Or did they intentionally introduce delay? Just set a course over there. I don't care how you do it. I'm gonna have to babysit this one for a little bit. Let's make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. Must be nerve wracking to know that they're coming. Oh, this is a pretty good course, though. I think we'll be okay. Evade hazards. Turn on that off just in case the computer tries to evade the torpedoes that are already definitely evaded. Okay, just go that way for as long as you want. Now, you, everyone else can just basically slow down. Take a pleasure cruise. Don't make any noise as well, since your noise will actually impede my ability to find this submarine. Good, 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 good. Okay, we got her still. I mean, sea state too. This is the calmest I have seen the water in this game ever. All right, slow down. Just slow down. You're fine now. Did, I'd like, what the heck is going on? Okay, slow down. Yeah, maybe Drayton, you just, you're gonna slow down. I'm gonna put you on a bearing and I'm gonna have you slow down and you're gonna start listening. Not that we need the detection, but... That's good. That's the kind of heading I was hoping for. You can crank up the speed. I think they did change like the order delay. Collision alert. Sound the collision alarm. These guys used to maneuver just like speedboats. <laughs> now they don't. But we're, we now we have things under control. This is still fun. I miss the torpedo, I mean the submarine encounters. Let's 
correct slightly though. Okay. Now it's so quiet out, I don't think we actually want to use our active. It's so funny how you can see this shadow of the submarine from so far away. A little goofy in my opinion. Hey, Hobart survived! Yay! No torpedo hits this time. That was that was exciting though. So the, yeah, the I feel I think that something has been changed in the handling of destroyers or all ships perhaps. At least destroyers they handle much more clumsily. And honestly, I don't think that that's a bad thing. It's just something I'm gonna have to get used to. It's a difference. But speedboats, destroyers are not speedboats. They did kind of, excuse me, they did kind of have that feel though before. Now this is awesome that we finally found a Japanese submarine. They have what, like, is this their last one? And no, they have, I think, one more. And all the ships that really most worried about. I've already gotten out of the way. Yeah, with the new maneuvering scheme though, I am going to have to be... Uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get this turn, turn correctly, to come out of the turn correctly. Is she starting to go under? Maybe not yet. And you can definitely see her, though. <laughs> How exciting! Alright, we're gonna need that hard turn now. I prefer to go along the same direction as the submarine. Let's see how much I overshoot. Not too bad. Still overshot a fair amount. I hit Q when I was I was waiting for the destroyer to line up on my uh, 12 o'clock when I was looking that direction. I was guessing that that's how much she would overshoot. So it was a little more than that in the end, but not too bad. Anyway, looks like we're gonna have a good shot at her pretty quickly here. I'm surprised that we don't hear her yet. Very surprised. She's dead ahead. I mean, the sea state is extremely calm. We are going 13 knots now. There are no... There's nothing else in front of us. It's very calm. Extremely calm. I just don't understand. Like, look how close this submarine is. <laughs> okay, we got her. Let's go ahead and identify her as well. I'm pretty sure that there's only one type of submarine left, but let's just make sure. Because, uh, again, get the bonus. Or I think we get the bonus. Okay. Um, are there any of these left? There is... There are two. What about the other one? There are none. Well, it makes my job pretty easy. There we go. And you should both target it. Okay, on we go with our little chase. Oh man, I haven't used depth charges in a long time. Let's make a 5x. And let's speed up a little bit as well. <clears throat> Just make sure we get on top of her before she sinks too much. But I'm, I think she's starting to go down. Has she given the order yet? Yep, she's starting to submerge. She really what? I don't, is, has she? Oh, this is funny. We lost her. Man, this is cl super crystal clear water, though. And yeah, we we actually have lost her, though. 
Well, wow, we're just gonna run her. We're gonna run her over. <laughs> this is gonna be a brutal, 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 brutal attack. Let's, uh, keep this. What's the Q E R E R? Okay. I mean, she's cavitating. It should be really easy to hear her. up charges start rolling start rolling start rolling I don't think this is gonna be uh, much of a fight there's another that one right through her that blew up inside of her boat Oh, right underneath of her. She's a goner. I don't care. Blow ballast all you want. You are destined for the bottom. Hmm. Yeah. Really good run. I mean, we just couldn't have gotten any worse. But I mean, it couldn't have been any worse for her. Fantastic. Excellent. That was a lot of fun. I have to say. That was a lot of fun. Glad that happened. Boy, I was wondering what the heck well, merchant's way out here, but turns out it was all it, it was a, a pleasant surprise a pleasant unpleasant surprise Not what we you know would want if we were if this was more like real life, but Fun from a game mechanic standpoint dodge around and do all that All right, let's get this group going right away since we know what we're gonna do break pick form up Show us where the oh well this should be a pretty quick uh, pretty quick spotting mission. Okay, so what do we want to take out? I think we want to take out <clears throat> um, the destroyers, which we should identify again as well. Unfortunately. No, let's see. Minikazi. This is a Momi. This is a Kamikaze, right? Wait. Yeah, it is. I didn't even check between this and the was it the yeah the Matsuki, but this one definitely has the two torpedo tubes. And last, but definitely not least, probably the primary target here. I think we'll send off, we'll probably send all our groups after this thing. I was thinking of sending all the different groups after different destroyers. Wait, no, that's not how we do things at all. Should I mix things up though? Maybe send two after, no, it's hard to say. It's always better to get the kill. Anyway, you are a... Yep, Shiratsuyu. Okay. Now let's do the attack. So Shiratsuyu. Shiratsuyu. Shiratsuyu and number nine. Should I? Let's go after the Momi. I think if we get even three dive bombers with significant hits, we could sink two for the price of one. We are playing the big game here that now potentially we won't sink both. But I think we've been overkilling a fair amount in our previous dive bombing attempts with all 12. So we'll just try this. Let's see how it goes. There's the three going after the other target. And we did not form up at all. <laughs> Are they all going to dive together, by the way? Kind of interesting. This what what is this one doing? Yeah, I think we made a good call not sending all of them. Somewhere up here we have some bombs about to release. Oh they have released. Oh yeah, that might be good! I think I think we did uh, good by choosing two different targets. 
let's see if all of our ships get out. I mean, the crippling AA fire from these mer um, merchant ships is insane. It's just insane. Yeah, we, we lose more against merchant ships than anything else. It's, it's just preposterous. Well, we will have revenge. Only losing one isn't too bad. So, Shirotsugi is sinking, which justifies my decision to split. Now, the best thing would be if we get two, though. She's not looking good, right? Looks very bad. Yeah, looks really bad. <laughs> Horrible, I would say. Oh, why don't we get the walrus to just come back this way? Cool, we gotta see a walrus. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That guy looks goofy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Obviously, those are just painted on there. Alright, let's see how this goes, though. I'm expecting victory. Waiting for the end? Alright, this was actually a pretty fun episode. Would love to have seen that co collision just push her over. There it is. Okay, so we don't need to wait any longer. We got our two. Good. Very good. So that's... That was well justified using the two different aircraft. Um... There they are. I was like, where are they? Ah, there they are. So send them up this way. Half an hour, that's good. So we should spot the new merchant ships on our way in. Dog, how much time do you have before you launch again? 0.3 hours, so we'll get that into the next episode. So wow, I mean, I guess now, off camera, I should make a note to myself to you know, do that thing with the Florida Islands. 185, we are definitely within range, so I know that I wasn't going to... I, I said originally I was going to just cheat, a, cheat off the Santa Cruz Islands people without doing anything, but now I've reacted. I'm not going to cheat anything. I didn't look at the values. I didn't edit the save game between the last episode and this one. So I'm going to let Operation Freedom arrive. I'm going to let the convo, Convoy Zebra go over there. Now let's see. If if, I, if I've done enough damage control that we're, um, we have an advantage in troop count, then I will just eliminate them completely because it's just a matter of time. We will have considered our our um, defense against the uh, amphibious invasion a success. It's really almost, I mean, not just almost, it really is like a counter amphibious invasion. You have so many people coming back in. Anyway, so we'll take care of the situation in Santa Cruz. Um, I will reduce Florida Island so that we get that. And now what we're waiting for is the carriers. Waiting to see some carriers now. With so many destroyers about, I can't just push in, unfortunately. I guess that's one big disadvantage for me not taking out all these destroyers. How do they even have the points for all these? My goodness. Because I have gotten most of my points from sinking their ships. I mean, obviously they don't. The AI is you know, obviously just cheating like crazy. Uh, wow, that's, I mean, that's a lot of destroyers. Six points each, right? So eight times six, you see that? It's 50 points. And me, after sinking all the Congos, all the heavy cruisers, all that stuff, there's no way I could afford, even with all those bonus points, no way I could afford this. But anyway, enough about this. Catch you back for the next episode, which probably will be the last one. I just want to, it'd be nice to get a carrier fight, so we'll try to hold out until that happens. Until then, thanks for watching, stay safe, take care.